have you ever had a time in your life when you felt as if you needed a brand new beginning? I have, and I'm certain that you have at times, especially when we fail and we falter in the eyes of God, if we wake up on that morning and realize that we may very well need a new beginning. You know, I'm mindful of the children of Israel, how it was the case in the book of Exodus, that they had been in Egyptian bondage for quite some time. As a matter of fact, many of those people had both lived and died their entire lives and known nothing but bondage. But the generation there, numbering about 600,000 or so that remained there in Egyptian bondage, had now been able to go through, or at least endure alongside of the Egyptians, about nine of the ten plagues that God would send in order to have them to be free. And as the tenth plague was about to be sent, the Passover was about to be, had its beginning at least, they were being instructed that as the death angel, as some refer to it, were to come over the homes of the Egyptians and likewise the Israelites, that if they would prepare themselves in such a way, prepare a lamb, and allow its blood to be shed and placed upon the doorpost and the lintels of the door, then they themselves will be saved. Of course, we know that that's exactly what the Israelite nation would choose to do. But I want to encourage you to realize that for them, that was the first day, or at least the first time, when their new beginning was about to take place. Let me read some scripture to you. In the book of Exodus, chapter 12, beginning in verse 1, the Bible says this very simply. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you, watch this, the beginning of months, and it shall be the first months of the new year to you. Now, friends, he doesn't say this is the first month of the year. He's saying to you, this is like a brand new day. To you, this is a brand new beginning. This is a new start for you. And of course, for them and most of them, if not all, this is a beginning they'd never seen before. Most of the people then, if not all at that point in time, had never known true freedom, had never been out of Egyptian bondage, perhaps. And so for them, this was the first day of a brand new beginning. Now, we know the next part of the story, how that the Pharaoh would allow them to go and that they would eventually, because of their sins, wander throughout the wilderness for 40 years. But still, my friends, as opposed to being in bondage to something, they were now made free. They had had their day of new beginning. And I, it's my prayer today that if you seek to find your new beginning in life, whatever it is, it's held you down. You know, the land of Egypt represented sin for them, likewise it would for us. If you're in the midst of sin, sin that's weighted you down, that's held you in bondage for quite some time, why not make today the brand new beginning that you deserve? Why not make today the very first month of your new year in your life? I realize and understand this is not the month of January, friends. This is the month of February, and we're closing in on March. But that doesn't change the fact that any day can be your day of beginnings. It's my prayer today that you'll go about and encourage others to do likewise, because this has been your daily dose, and it's meant that you would be encouraged.